Hey everybody, Aaron Cowan, Sage Dynamics, and this is the Modular Driven Technologies ESS Rifle Chassis. I'm somewhat of a uh, knowledgeable amateur when it comes to precision rifle uh, focused stuff. I did some, spend some time in my career using precision rifles, but it was never something I was super passionate about. Uh, it is enjoyable, I love you know making bullets go far, uh, but it's never been kind of my primary focus. Uh, that being said, I do shoot quite a bit of precision rifle, I do tend to uh, gravitate towards precision on the uh, the smaller calibers like 223556 five, I, I take a, uh, a great deal of pride in being able to shoot uh, the 556 five, round out to you know 800 even a thousand meters just to prove that it can be done it's something I enjoy doing but I also like bolt guns there's just something therapeutic and something um, I don't know organic if you will uh, about using a bolt gun for for engaging you know steel or paper at, at extended ranges uh, rifle I've always been a fan of, although a little bit less so these days, has been the Remington 700. It's a very venerable design. I had a 700 AAC, one of the first 700 AACs they produced, and I just wasn't a fan of the stock it came with. Uh, then I put a Magpul on it, and while I do like the Magpul Hunter stock, I'm not a hunter, and that stock isn't really designed for what I was trying to do with the rifle, which is multi-purpose, multi-position precision shooting. Not just, uh, you know, backpack one shot, or laying it on a bipod. I wanted something that had some more options to it. Now, I've been using MDT's uh, AICS pattern magazines for quite some time, and I was like, you know what? They make a really good magazine. I really do like their magazine. It's probably my favorite magazine for the AICS uh, pattern uh, of magazine for bolt action rifles. I was like, let me give one of their stocks a chance. So I went ahead and purchased their ESS line. Uh, ESS chassis is uh, modular to semi-modular, depending on how you look at it. Uh, you're getting a 15-inch M-lock rail with the bedding chassis system, uh, and you're also getting either a fixed or a folding stock with adjustable cheek rise and length of pull. I went for the folding stock, which I was a little hesitant about, uh, but my my concerns were immediately dispelled by just how tight this thing locks up. I've used some folding stocks in the past on older stock systems that just had a little bit of a little bit too much wiggle to them. It's not something I want on a precision platform. Uh, it is a uh, pattern for the AICS. Um, they make a great, like I already said, a great magazine for that system. Uh, so you're getting their stock, their magazine. Depending on which rifle you put in it, because it is available for a number of different rifles, uh, you're looking at 4.4 to 4.8 pounds. Of course, you're going to add an optic to that. That's going to add a little bit of weight. But just the, the uh, I want to say the out-of-the-box weight, once you drop a rifle into it, you're, you're getting a pretty light platform. A pretty light stock, if you will. Pretty light gun when you're done. The magazine release, one of the things I've noticed on some magazine-fed bolt-action designs is the magazine release can be a little bit cumbersome or just a little bit too, or I should say, lack of ergonomics. It's kind of out of your reach. Uh, this one has an ambi mag release that can be released with the trigger finger, especially operating the 700 with your normal hand placement. If you've got your, your, your thumb on the right side of the, uh, the bolt handle side, uh, to manipulate that safety catch. It's very easy to just rotate your hand forward just a little bit more, hit that magazine release, and then reload, reload with your left hand. Another feature which I think is, is important is the fact that once you get your length of pull, your cheek rise uh, adjusted, you can go ahead and lock that down with set screws that they provide. So you're not going to have uh, screws come loose. In the past I've uh, used um, a rifle that uh, had the, uh, an older Bell, uh, an older B&T stock on it. Was it B&C, Bell and Carlson? Bell? Yeah, whatever. Uh, one of those stocks. And it only had an adjustable length of pull, which is cool because, eh, you know, in traditional, it was a very traditional rifle stock. Uh, well, I'd go ahead and adjust that length of pull, then after, you know, five, six, ten rounds, it would unscrew and come loose on me. And I've had that same problem with some that have adjustable cheek risers as well, to where, you know, after a few rounds or maybe even uh, after a range trip, you throw it in the range bag, go home, throw it in the safe, take it out of the safe, and now your cheek rise, cheek riser needs to be adjusted again. So having the set screw option, it, it was super cool to me. Um, using this on the 700, which is which uh, until recently was the most 
frequent bolt gun that I was to fire. I do like this 700 AAC. It's a very accurate gun. It's a very maneuverable, very portable. It's easy to fold it up, throw it in the truck, take it to the range. Uh, I'm not a hunter, uh, so I can't really speak to, you know, how versatile this particular setup would be for hunting purposes, but it is a very light stock for what you're getting. Uh, considering the materials that go into it and all the other features that went into it. Uh, I like the versatility of the fact that now I can, you know, I can mount whatever accessories I'm going to need to mount for whatever kind of shooting I'm going to do. Uh, me, because I don't hunt most of my precision shooting, I would say all of my precision shooting uh, recently, or to date, uh, has been on steel or paper at, at extended ranges. Uh, but, you know, that's, the, that's something that I do still enjoy, still do practice, and I like the fact that uh, this stock gives me a lot of great options for not a lot of cost. In fact, um, my wife has one of these as well. She's got a left-handed, which one of the reasons uh, that I looked at the ESS initially was I was looking for a left-handed stock for her left-handed 700, and there's not a lot of options out there for aftermarket left-handed stocks. Uh, there are a couple, but there aren't too many. I'm looking at the price point of the ESS. I went ahead and bought one for her, uh, installed it on her gun. This was Christmas uh, two years ago, uh, as of the filming of this video. And I, you know, I was like, okay, now I want one of these two. I gave her, I got her the fixed stock. I got myself the folding one because I like it to be a little bit more portable. Um, and my initial hesitancy over that folding stock, as I already mentioned, was immediately dissuaded by the fact that the lockup on the folding stock on this thing is awesome. And the folding stock is reversible. You can get it to fold to the right or the left, depending on which side your action is on. And it's available for a number of different rifles. And the price point, considering how much some of these aftermarket stocks can cost offering similar features, I think the price point is pretty damn awesome. Now, using it from bipod or improvised support positions or even throwing it in a hog saddle, the ESS uh, serves, serves very well. Uh, it's not a bulky uh, stock. There's not a lot of snag points on it. It's got some, some cool integral options. Um, and it's going to give you uh, some built-in MOA rise and uh, the adjustments that you're going to need for length of pull or, or cheek rise. And this particular version is folding, so that even adds to the versatility of it. Uh, I'd like to probably get another one of these and drop an even shorter rifle in it just for fun uh, to give myself even, even more compact precision rifle package. Uh, there are upgrade options available and just MDT offers a couple of different stock options that I think that you should, you know, if you're if you're looking for an aftermarket stock that's going to give you these features for PRS or just for, you know, personal range use, I definitely recommend checking out their offerings to see what they have because uh, they probably have a stock that's going to fit the needs that you're looking for. Um, I'm looking forward to finding a, uh, another rifle to drop into these. I recently picked up a Tika rifle, and if I find that I don't like the stock that came with it, I'm definitely going to be dropping it into an uh, MDT ESS. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for uh, a versatile stock system that's not ridiculously expensive, uh, you are going to pay for the quality of this, um, but it's not the most expensive stock I've seen, and it's probably reasonably priced considering what options you get in that category of more fine-tuned, if you will, precise, if you will, precision stocks that are out there. Uh, so you should definitely give the MDT ESS or MDT stocks in general a look. I'm Aaron Cowan with Sage Dynamics. Train accordingly.